So hi, my name is JC. I'm a micro baker, um, and this is, I mean this video is is the continuation of the of the micro bakery tour vi video. So this is part two of that. Um, so as you can see be behind me, there's a store. So that's the wild bread store. Um, that's our store actually, and. Um, Yes, we've moved away from selling to the markets and now we have our very own um, ver very own little space where we can sell our breads and croissants and pizzas. Another video is actually coming up um, with a very detailed story of why we decided. But for this video, we'll just give you a tour. Um, so yeah, if some of you can notice that the design of this store is a little bit... Um, it's a little bit... Um, European um, and, and that's that has been our um, our inspiration with this one because we follow a lot of Western bakeries and cafes so you know we have the awning over there and then just alfresco seating um, or alfresco table and dining and all that stuff so yeah um, I'll just before I take you inside and, and you know this side of the um, store I'll take you here to our pizza station on my right um, it's just very simple because we, we don't have a lot of space inside so we thought that okay like we ha kind of have a out an outdoor space let's just use that as a pizza station so that we can still sell some of our pizza so yeah I'm um, here I have the unis um, I'm not sure if I've put this out on video yet but we've, we've posted a lot about this whole rack thing so where you know we, we have that um, so that we can save space and, and just the pizza workstation um, I kind of and a little a, a small tent over here yeah we're just waiting for another space to open up around here so we can finally move the, the bakery or the home bakery outside and I can be stopped I can I can stop calling myself as a micro baker and finally like a, a proper baker whatever that means but anyway um, <coughs> so I'll just take you to this door um, it's it's very easy for for local businesses here to just um, use whatever is available when they move into a specific space. Um, by that I mean like just the steel frames or al aluminum frames and then just full glass. So we wanted to do a little bit of um, a little bit more character basically to the storefront and it's worked out well for us I think, I hope. <laughs> So yeah, the wooden thingy, these are inspired by um, European European bakeries that we've been following for a while. Um, yeah, and, um, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is, is just for now the shelves here. Um, <coughs> and there are wooden pegs here that kind of go that way. Um, because I, in my head, I wanted the bag the baguettes to kind of stand up over there and um, it's still not brought here um and then you know just just our full spread um here i wanted the panettones but it's been a year and a half and i'm still shit at making panettone <laughs> so yeah we're, we're gonna wait till well we're, we're selling our panettones over here so yeah it's, yeah eh. <laughs> yeah so <coughs> yeah that's it um just just to give you an idea the the bakery is about four kilometers away from the from from this store so kind of takes a while for not really a while but maybe 10 15 minutes of driving maybe 10 it, it, it's funny because um some people there are still a couple of people like one or maybe two people who who still think that <coughs> um, I'm still solo. I've never been solo. I've always started with someone. Um, and that's Nicole, who has been the the brain of all of this, like why we have social media, why we have incredibly efficient systems is because of Nicole and now Sam behind the camera. Um, and now the reason why we can make this happen, the store is because of all the people who help us. Um, yeah, all of them. Um, you might not remember all of them, but th there's Hannah, Rosh, Mita, Angel, and Sasha, so um, who help us out. And there are a couple other bakers at the home bakery who's also making all of these things, these things work. 
so yeah, we're, this is just a normal um, scenario at half past six in the morning, where you know people are getting ready to open at seven. So that so we open only on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So those, that, that's just three days, so seven a.m. to five p.m. Um, yeah, so nothing much. So as you can see, there's just a, a coffee station over there. Um, uh, thankfully, people are are forgiving of us because we they know that we're a bakery, but you know we have coffee, and um, <coughs> which I like. I mean, just I personally like. Um, and then yeah, just an under counter chiller over here, um, and it, it doubles as a workstation. Um, yeah. So we initially, the design team, or yeah, we, we kind of had this whole thing designed. So we sent them all our inspirations and they, they, they designed something for us um, based of, off of all of that um, inspiration. So they, they initially wanted to install like a, um, an upright chiller here, but I'm like, uh, I said like, I wanted um, an under counter chiller so there's a, wor a big workspace plus the um, <coughs> the space beneath that was utilized so almost forgot well I did forget to show you this um, this is our the, the rack that we have um, initially I thought like 50 it can hold 15 trays at a time um, so now on this side we just have the packaging um, for, for breads and croissants and sometimes like on very rare occasions we microwave soups that we that we make mm -hmm. yeah that's just on this uh, and on this side this is where usually sam who's behind the camera or sasha or nicole or myself or angel <laughs> everybody <laughs> um where they where, where we take orders um usually this is where the whole spread of croissants um is placed and then pizzas over there so yeah that's it so and on this side this didn't come with the design, this, this shelf, but we're like, okay, we're running out of shelf space. Initially, we're like, oh, there's so much space here. Like, um, even that, just um, show them the, that, all of that, all of those shelves. Yeah, even that, before we moved in here, um, we, we, we thought like, hey, there's so much shelf space here, and counter space, and like cabinet space, that how are we gonna fill this up? We have a marble counter initially because we wanted to cut costs a little bit. <coughs> we kind of half-heartedly settled for a wooden um, counter that's just painted, but then I, re I thought and I, I told Nicole that I wanted to hold classes here, which we've, been, we've told people on Instagram and Facebook that we were gonna do classes since November but it's almost February and we haven't done a single class yet so um, hopefully February is the month that I'll be able to hold um, <coughs> a free class and a paid class like um, so yeah this is where the marble comes in now because I said like hey I wanted to do classes and make bread so it would be it wouldn't be nice to make bread on a painted surface, right? Because you're going to eat it and all that stuff. Um, so I told Nicole that I wanted uh, a marble counter. Um, so yeah, we spent extra on this one. But it turned out really well. Um, um, which is, yeah, this is the logo that we started with. Um, <coughs> this is just, you know, the shape of, of bread. Or... Uh, yeah, not, nothing much there actually. <laughs> um, just a cool story though about, um, a cringy story about um, the name Wild Breads, right? Because um, when we started, when I started this whole thing, I made Facebook uh, pages of the business and I made two. Um, I'm just gonna say it anyway. So <laughs> the first one I selected, the name, uh, the name I selected or I chose was um, Los Baños, which is our town, Los Baños Sourdough or Sourdough Los Baños or something. So Nicole was like, what the hell? Like, you should have asked me. So now she thought about things and said like, can we name the business something else? Like, um, kind of a unique name, right? And so she asked me questions like, why is it sourdough? And you know, 
and I told her because there's wild yeast in there so she's like okay cool like wild bread so but but the funny thing is there's also a, a wild breads um, business in Australia um, and the funny thing about that is some people in Australia usually tag us and we're like hey we're not that wild bread so we're, we're a different kind of wild bread so so yeah anyway um, <coughs> there's nothing else I guess um, just thank you for hanging out this far um, uh, I'll see you probably in the next video so cheers